The game is life. Turn the life uh, finds a way. What's up, cereal heads? Today we're gonna to talk about brand new chocolate life cereal. Now, Quaker just released this new flavor of their classic life cereal, and they sent me a box along with some other goodies that I'll talk about in a minute. But this cereal is already popping up on shelves all over the country, so you shouldn't have too hard a time finding it. Now, I've already made a video about life cereal, so if you're interested about the history of that, go check out that video. It's got a lot of info and you can even see one of the earlier life commercials where they have these little protein characters as the mascot, including some weird pronunciation of the word protein. Now, since I recorded that video, I've been able to get my hands on some older boxes of life cereal. These two boxes are from the 60s, the same decade the cereal was released. Here, I'll give you a closer look at both of these boxes. You can see on this ripped box, they were touting the useful protein of this cereal. They were saying it's 100% as useful as the protein in meat or milk. And they go on to continue that comparison on the back of the box. On the side there, you can see little drawings of the proteins before they improve these characters for the commercials. Now in this box you can see the updated protein guy up here in the corner talking about the puppet theater on the back and then on the back you can cut out Leo the lion and use this box as your own puppet theater. And there are the little protein guys there on the side of the box that you see in commercials. So that's just a fun little look at some of the older life boxes. Throughout the years they've added a few different varieties and flavors. Cinnamon Life is still by far my favorite version. It's such a good cereal to eat dry or with milk. In the early 80s they had Raisin Life which was just life cereal with raisins in it. That one was delicious too, but it didn't last too long. Since then, they've added Vanilla Life, Strawberry Life, and some seasonal varieties as well. A few years ago, they had Pumpkin Spice Life, and they also released Gingerbread Life for two consecutive years, although I don't think they had it last season. But still, they're one of the only cereal brands to try this gingerbread flavor for the holidays. I wish more cereal brands would try that delicious gingerbread variety. I'm looking at you, Cheerios. Now, in 2020, they finally tried a chocolate variety of this cereal. I'm actually surprised they didn't try this sooner. Chocolate is such a popular flavor, you'd think they would have tried this before strawberry but at least it's here now. And look at that cereal on the front of the box there. Doesn't that chocolate life look delicious? And I don't even love chocolate cereals either. Now on the side of the box here, they show you some of their other flavors. They have original cinnamon, vanilla, and strawberry. And then on the back of the box here, they have a connect the dots activity. It tells you to connect the stars to reveal the different animals you might see while camping. Now, I'm not gonna connect the dots and mess up this box, but I think if you look hard enough, you can probably figure it out. No spoilers in case you wanna pick up this box and do it yourself. All right, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of chocolate life cereal looks like. You can see those little sugar crystals on the cocoa infused life pieces. Man, life is such a great underrated cereal. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. Mmm, that's pretty tasty. It's got a nice cocoa taste to it. It's not super chocolatey or super sweet. It's still not quite as good as cinnamon life cereal to me, but I'd love to mix this with some Cinnamon Life and make a Mexican hot chocolate version. Or if I had the vanilla and strawberry life cereals, I could mix all three of them and make a Neapolitan life cereal. Now the only criticism I ever have of life cereal is that it gets pretty soggy and mushy if you don't eat it quick enough. But the simple solution to that is just to scarf this stuff down as quick as possible. Or of course you can just eat it as a dry snack, which is what I often do. You probably can't see it here, but unlike most cocoa cereals, this one doesn't seem to be really turning the milk chocolatey. Just another reason why you can skip the milk on this stuff and just eat it dry. Now in addition to the the new chocolate life cereal quaker also sent me two other products first they sent me a bag of this new smart food popcorn with crunch berries now when i first saw this stuff online i was super excited the idea of mixing salty popcorn with sweet crunch berries sounds delicious when i checked the ingredients i was a little disappointed to see that this stuff included cream cheese and yogurt powder i'm sure this stuff doesn't actually taste like cheese but including dairy products for no reason kind of cuts off a big portion of your customer base but let's give it a try anyway and see how it tastes so there's what this stuff looks like. As you can see, there's only a few crunch berries there at the top. They probably mostly settled to the bottom. They definitely smell sweet, and you can see they kind of have a dusting on the pieces. Let me try a handful of it. Mmm. Yeah, the popcorn's kind of sweet and salty and kind of tastes like crunch berries. It's definitely a delicious combo and a very good marriage of two brands. So if you're not lactose intolerant, go ahead and pick up a bag of this stuff and let me know what you think. Now, the last product they sent me were these two boxes of Cap'n Crunch snack pouches. These are just individual single serving packs that you can munch on on the go. And they have some fun new Cap'n Crunch art design on the back. You can see the Cap'n with the Crunch Berry Beast there and one of his crew members. That's Dave there, I'm pretty sure. I'll definitely be giving away these single serving pouches with the other mini boxes of cereal I give away during Halloween to trick-or-treaters. That is, of course, if we actually have trick-or-treaters this year in the pandemic, which 
It doesn't seem like we will. It also looks like from the back here, you can see they're gonna have a sprinkled donut crunch version of these single serving pouches too. And they said these should be available in late August. So I guess keep your eyes peeled. All right, so that's gonna do it for this new Chocolate Life cereal. This was a really good variety by Quaker and hopefully it sticks around as a permanent flavor, not just a limited edition one. And I'm also hoping they bring back that gingerbread flavor later this year. If you find this stuff in stores and give it a try, let me know what you think in the comments. All right, well, that's gonna do it. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. We, we pay taxes. We pay taxes. This government is not doing anything to stop it. When the, when the people in LA, after the rebellion, we stopped and um, there was a truce, mm -hmm. nothing happened. Did we get any jobs? No. Did we get any relief? No. But every time there's a flood, an earthquake, or a thunderstorm, America will give mad millions to somebody because their house broke down. They don't care if we stop the violence or not. They don't care about gang violence. This country was built on gangs. Mm -hmm. You know, I think this country still is run on gangs. Republicans, Democrats, the police department, the FBI, the CIA, those are gangs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The correctional officers. Mm -hmm. I had a correctional officer tell me straight up, we the biggest gang in New York State. Straight up.